Hi folks, Karen here with Baby Boomers Get Online, and I wanted to uh, share a really cool plugin that I found the other day, and it's called Post Snippets. Post Snippets. Now, what this is going to do is say you have a standard blurb or whatever that you put at the end of every post. Maybe it's an article, I mean an, an author, you know, about the author or whatever. With me, I put an opt-in, this here. I put an opt-in code at the end of every blog post. Now, sometimes the opt-in code has this book with it. Sometimes the opt-in code doesn't have the book. It's just the subscription form. Now, what happens when you have this code, this full code, which is that's this all of this is right here, starting with the, the return. You put all of this code inside of your posts, and then hypothetically, you change mail servers. So like right now I'm using MailChimp, but say I decide to switch to AWeber or GetResponse or something, then I'm going to have to go back through like 200 posts and change the code on every one of my posts. This plugin eliminates doing any of that. And I'll show you how you do it. First, you would go to add, add plugins and search for post snippets. Now, mine's already installed, but this is what it looks like. Post snippets. Over 10,000 people are using this. And they keep it up to date. Once you add the plugin, you bring your settings up and it'll be in settings and then post snippets down here and you add a snippet now here's the cool part let's see if you can either add a new snippet which is what I did with these up here uh, okay it says untitled so here it would be right here is untitled now I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete this one because I don't want an untitled one here. But here's what you do: you give it a title. So now this is the code that was that you saw on that page. This is the description, full opt-in on posts. Once these are added into your post snippets, they show up here. So now I know I want the full the full code on here. So now I just highlight the full code and click on post snippets and then this is what I want. Full opt-in code. Now I'm going to update that. So now if I change mail if I change autoresponders or say I want to provide a different um, incentive, I'm giving away a different book, all I have to do is change the code here. I only have to change it once. And then on every page where my short code full opt-in posts shows up, it's going to be changed automatically. See, and all the way down the bottom here, here's my short code. So instead of having all that code that I would have to go in and change on every post, I keep it this way, and then all I do in do is go in and change the code once, and then it automatically changes everywhere else. Now, what this is similar to and acts like is if you are used to using HTML websites and you used server-side includes, it's the same thing. What you're doing is creating a separate piece of code that will be called into the post using a short code. Now in HTML you would have insert and then the file name and all of that. 
and that would be the server side includes. This works the same way, exactly the same way. It's just so freaking cool. So now I know that I won't have to go into, oh my gosh, how many posts do I have now? I have a hundred and, oh, I have a total of 202 right now. And I'll have more. But now all I have to do is when I write my post, see, say I'm editing this one. All I have to do when I go in is just go to the bottom, click on the post snippets, and add the little code. Okay, so this is something that's going to make your blogging a lot easier, especially if you're using the same thing on every post. Now, as far as I know, this only works on posts. I'm not sure if it works on a page. Let me see. Yes, it does. It works on pages, too. So if you have the same thing on every post or page, instead of having to go in and change every single post you've written, all you do is put a, a short code in there, and then you only have to change that code once in that separate little file. Okay, I hope you all understood everything here. <laughs> and um, And that's it. And if you're on my blog, subscribe to my blog. If you're on... YouTube, subscribe to my channel, and watch for my next blog post. Thanks.